can create this very simple sliced text effect using Adobe Illustrator CC. So I'll go ahead and open up a new document here in Illustrator. I'll size it at 1280 by 1280 pixels. And then we just want to set up our document so that we're working with a similar view and a similar setup. So I'll go to view up here. We're going to want to turn off snap to pixel. The only thing we want selected from this drop down over here is snap to point. After that, we'll go over to window and we're going to want a line color and gradients so that we have all three of these panels right here visible on the right hand side. And once we've done that, we could just go ahead and grab the text tool and create some text. So I'm going to grab the text tool and click on the canvas until we get uh, some placeholder text right there. And from this drop down, I'm going to choose a specific font called Montserrat Heavy. Uh, you don't have to use this font. Uh, if you'd like to use it, I'll put a link in the description to where you can download it, but you can use whatever font you'd like. Although I do recommend using a heavier weight font. It does work better with a heavier weight font. So I'm going to go ahead and look for that font. Um, Montserrat. There we go. And I'm going to change that to black. And now I'm going to change the text just to say sliced in all caps. Now I'll go ahead and grab the uh, select tool. And I'm going to hold shift and alt and I'm going to grab that corner arrow, that corner node right there and just scale this up so we can see this better. I'll put this towards the center of the page. So what I want to do now is take this text and create outlines out of it. So I'll go to uh, type and I'll click on create outlines. And I will take the opacity of this up here and bring this down in half. And we can click out of that to close out of it. And what I want to do next is I want to bring the cursor just outside of this top right point right here until the icon turns into a rotate icon, as you see here on the screen. Once it turns into a rotate icon, I'm just going to click and drag it counterclockwise slightly, maybe about that much. And what I'll do now is I'll grab the, um, the rectangle tool, and I'll just create a rectangle going over the top half of that text, just like that. And I want to bring the opacity of this down as well. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going, to, I'm going to grab the select tool and I'm going to zoom in on this. I'm going to hold alt and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in. And I'm just going to make sure that I have this rectangle placed where I want it to be because where the bottom edge of this rectangle is, is going to be where the, the, uh, the text gets sliced. So I'd like to have it right here so it's not cutting off to the tip of like the, this part of the S or anything like that, or it's not leaving out uh, like right here. There's going to be a little portion of the E sticking out from there. Maybe I'll bring that down a little bit. Do something like that. That's pretty good. And once we've done that, I'm going to click and drag over everything so we have everything selected. And I'm going to go to the uh, Pathfinder tool, which is right here. I'm, I'm sorry, no, the uh, Shape Builder tool, which is right here. And I'm going to hold Alt and click on the negative space of this D right here to delete that. And while still holding Alt, I'm going to click on this large rectangle to delete that. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to click and drag through the top half of these letters, draw a line through the top half of these letters like that. And make sure with this letter D, you don't draw into the negative space, because if you draw into the negative space, it's going to create a shape out of that as well, which we don't want. So just draw a line through the top part of the letters and just the, uh, the, um, the solid fill portion of the letter D, just like that. And that goes for any letter that you'll be working with that has a negative space like that, like a letter O, letter B. Uh, and, and so on. You get the idea, like letter A's and stuff like that. And what I'll do now is I'll just draw a line through this bottom half to connect these letters together as well. Just like that. And I'm going to go to the select tool and click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And if you notice now, we've sliced the text in half. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the bottom portion of this text right here and I'm just going to click and drag it to the left and I'm going to hold shift so it locks it onto the horizontal axis. I'm going to shift it over maybe that much like that. And let me zoom out so we can get a better look. If you want to move the page around like I'm doing, you just press down the space bar and click and drag. Just like that. That's what we're looking for. So once we've done that, uh, let's grab the rectangle tool and let's just create a rectangle going over the canvas. And I'm going to make this red. And I'm going to send that to the bottom. I'm going to grab the select tool. I'm going to right click on that red object and I'm going to arrange, send to the back just like that. And I'm going to take these text objects right here. I'm going to hold shift and click on all of the text objects. I'm going to ungroup them by hitting control shift and G. And I just want to make sure the opacity of them is all the way up and I'm going to make them white. 
and then I'll click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And the final part would be to put a little bit of a shadow, or uh, the illusion of a shadow anyway, on the top portion of this text. So I'm going to hold shift and click on all of the top text layers, and I'm going to group them together by hitting control G on the keyboard. And over here in the gradient menu, where it says type, I'm going to choose linear to create a linear gradient. And now I'm going to go to the gradient tool, and I'm just going to click and drag a line going from here to here like that. You know what? Let me undo that. Control Z to undo if you make a mistake. I'm going to start, let me zoom in, I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to click and drag and then hold shift to lock it onto the vertical axis or drag it down to about there. And if you don't like how it comes out, like I said, you could just undo it by hitting control Z and you could try again. I'll try putting this up a little higher like that. Maybe something right there. And let me zoom out to take a better look. Grab the select tool and just click off it to deselect everything. Not entirely happy with how that came out. Let me try that again. I'll put this up here like that. That's a little better. And there you have it. We have our sliced text effect using Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.